Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building from Family or Fiance, a show on the OWN Network. We have Dre and LaShonda. Welcome, guys. What's good? What's good, man? Now, I haven't seen the show, but Yee has. <laughs> Yee watches the show. So tell us about the show, Yee. Uh, well, they could tell us, but basically you guys go live in a house with your family and friends right. and it's before you're getting married and you guys have to hash out some of the issues that you guys might have and concerns that family members might have about your significant other. Yeah. Right. So one concern that family members had about LaShonda, even Dre had about you was your temper. Yeah. And that was something that... They feel like you fly off the handle too frequently and too quickly. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing, and we can talk about that now and here. Okay. Um, I don't think I fly off the handle too frequently. I think, for one, the production makes it look a certain oh, she, way. She has a daze. Don't 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 mm -hmm. get it twisted. She now, when I get angry, <laughs> uh -huh. it's like I'm mad. Right. But it's like I give you a chance and another chance and another chance. And then I think I hate the whole thing. Like, when I do get mad, it's like, oh, there she go, be another angry, mad black woman. Although it's a legitimate reason to be upset. So that kind of bothered me a little bit, but it's like when you get mad because your mad isn't like my mad, it's a problem. But what is your mad? Are you throwing things around? Nah, Are you screaming, yelling? No, nah, but my nah. energy, like, if I'm pissed off, you gonna feel it. Oh, she got a mouth on her. <laughs> but Dre, but, but Dre, even on the episode, Dre, you did say that that was something that was concerning to you. Yeah. yeah. Right, so, what, so there has to be some legitimacy to it. Yeah, I think for, for her, I think it's just how she handles things sometimes. You know, like, you can get mad, um, but see, me, my our personality is totally different. Like, I'm more laid back, mm -hmm. and she's more like the firecracker. So give us, give us an example. <laughs> mm. Last time she wilded out. Oh, man. <laughs> Last time she wilded out. Okay, I got a story. All right, so New Year's Eve. Okay. New Year's Eve. So I, I'm, I'm DJing in the club, New Year's Eve. Everything's having, everybody's You're making having a good your money. time. You I'm making a, my you, money. You're working. Every, I'm working, man. I'm, I'm over here doing my thing, and... The end of the club, end of the night, and the waitress come over to me like, hey, ASAP, you, you got to go get your wife, man. Your wife out here tripping. I said, damn, what's she doing now? <laughs> now where y'all from? And that Dallas. Dallas. Okay, Dallas. So, so yeah. what was she doing? <laughs> I mean, there, there was, there was a, a situation where I think someone had said something and, uh, you know, it was... It was some beef outside, and next thing I know, she going off, and I, I go over to the situation. I'm like, baby, what's wrong? She's like, don't come over here thinking I'm doing something wrong. I'm like, I didn't say nothing. I'm but actually wrong. Did y'all not wrong. just hear when, a while ago how he said the waitress came? I'm like, oh, what now? That pisses me off. You don't even know what happened, and you already jumping to the other side. Don't yell at so me. That, I <laughs> <laughs> See what he's so going through. I'm just asking what so happened. that would irritate me. We were outside, and it was some... Caucasian females outside and she just went to giving out black slurs and some guys were beside her and for whatever reason because they were angry they had booked a um, a table at the club they didn't get their table at the club so they started going off on everybody I'm standing there and they brought that my direction what they call so, what, they, what, what words did they use she called me a black bitch. Tell me to take my ass back home with my kids, you stupid okay. black bitch. Back so home she, now. she get a pass for that one. Yeah. Yeah. She, got, she got a pass for that one. Once yeah. I figured out what it was, I'm like, okay, yeah, you, you Back was home cool. to Africa or just home? Back home. Oh, okay. Because gotcha. I think it kind of struck a nerve because before we went out that night, I had already told him, yeah. hey, I really don't feel, I don't want to go out this year. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't care what type of bag yeah, they get you next year. We staying at home out. with the kids. Yeah. See, like yeah. see you can't do that. See, DJ, that's when you can stick up the promoter. I get that. New Year's Eve, stick them up. It's a big payday. I get that. But it was just something <laughs> for me where I'm like, I wanted to be at home with my kids. But I feel like even if that wasn't the feeling I had before we went out, I'm sorry. Any Anybody walking up to me, especially of another race, and you mad at somebody else, and you tell me you black, da da da, like yeah, that, that's the reason to get mad. Yeah, we so, have been so we, drinking. Yeah, so of course. It takes but it I, up I, everybody higher. thought it was over, and then next thing you know, she running outside like chasing after. Oh, I'm you like, going for more? <laughs> I was pissed. Well, Dre, let me ask you this, and this is something Envy could relate to because mm -hmm. he's a DJ as well, and you're a DJ that travels all the time. You yeah. DJ for some huge superstars. So uh, one of the concerns that her family has about you is the fact that you're this DJ that's always out having to go to the clubs. Mm -hmm. Clearly, that's your job. So what's your response to those concerns? Um, for me, like, I've been DJing for going on 10, 11 years now. Like, it's not really a, a issue for me. Like, the the temptation, like, I'd have been there, done that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, I've am i been out 
uh, I think that was really like the only concern they really had as far as me being a DJ. Like, how am I going to handle the temptation when I'm out and, you know, the girls or whatever it may be? And we never really had that problem. Like, it's never been a problem for, for me. Like, once I got with her, I was like, you know what? This is what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I cut all the other stuff off. But there was other stuff that you had to cut off. Like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So what happens sure. back at home? You guys are from Dallas? Yeah, yeah we live in Dallas. You I'm live in Dallas. Yeah. We live in Dallas. Ridley so what happens at home when all the other cutoffs pop up at the clubs and you guys are there? Hey, man. they they keep, yeah, like, they, you can't, yeah, they you keep can't it moving, you. though. Is it ever awkward, though? Nah, nah. not for me. Not for me either. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Yeah. Just making sure. <laughs> Gosh, you, you give me some negative. <laughs> well, I mean, there. that's what the show is based on. <laughs> just voices. Right. I, I have to look at it like this. Like, I'm in real estate now, so I'm doing a lot of entrepreneurial things now. Mm -hmm. But prior to that, I was a full-time adjuster, right? I worked a nine-to-five. Mm -hmm. If me and him had an issue, I wouldn't want him popping up at my job in a corporate setting. Right. Even though that's an urban setting, mm -hmm. I still got to give him that same respect. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, we've been out, and there have been a lot of situations where something has happened, and it's ticked me off. It's like, I'm going to wait till we get in the car. Oh, I'm gonna wait till we get home because he's at work. It. He's at work. Right, that's still right. his job. That's mm -hmm. his nine to five. Yeah. We're just gonna, in a we're gonna talk about it in the car, though. In a different, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> talk about it in the car. Now, another big issue is your children. So, LaShonda, you have kids. Dre, you don't have kids, but right. these are your daughters now. Right. You have two daughters, mm -hmm. and you guys are talking adoption, right? Dre adopting your daughters, but without the biological father's consent, from what I gathered from watching the episode. Right. So, where is that at now? And I wanna hear what you guys think about that being a concern. The show makes it look like it's a concern to do it without consent. I think, like, when his mom brought it up, he does, like, little things where, like, he's kind of like a stalker every now and then. Like, I've dated other guys before, and it's never been a problem until I got with Dre, mm -hmm. and he seen Dre with something serious. He feels like, dude ain't got nothing to lose. What if he tries to hurt one of y'all? But my kid's father haven't been around in four years. He was gone before Dre got here. So that's where the adoption thing comes in. It's not like we're trying to replace somebody. He's not an active yeah. father financially. His presence isn't there either. Like my that's your ex husband? Yeah, you were married yeah, before? Yeah, I was married. Mm -hmm. I was married to my daughter's father. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, mm -hmm. what happened? Did you Have you told him? Like, have you had any communication with your nah. ex to let him know? Because nah. he's going to see that. I'm sure he, he saw he the episode by now. He, he don't communicate. Yeah, he don't he know their shoe size, favorite color, what they elementary He don't know what their grades is. looking like. He don't know like nothing. That. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm the one that's fathering it. I'm the one that's getting up in the morning, taking them to school, picking them up. You know. Did they call you dad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You remember the first time they called you dad? Was that a, a moment? <laughs> <laughs> it was. It, you could tell, like, they were they were kind of, I think you had a conversation with, with Layla about yeah. her calling me dad, and I wasn't there. And they had a conversation like, hey, can I, is it okay? You think he'll be okay if I call him dad? Yeah, yeah. but he play all the time. He likes to make people uncomfortable. <laughs> like, he think everything is a joke. <laughs> so after he after she got done, because she was like, Mom, I want to tell him. And I was like, well, tell him. She was like, well, you tell him for me. And How old is like, she? She's eight. She was seven at the time, mm -hmm. but she's eight now. Mm -hmm. And so we all went out to eat. We had this conversation, and when we were done, he was like, okay, now call me daddy. She was like, you just made it really weird. <laughs> <laughs> you just made it real weird and awkward. So. All right, the other issue is um, Dre's friend, his best friend. Mm -hmm. That was another issue on Family yeah. or Fiance. Mm -hmm. And so, LaShonda, you... What's the friend? He's a whore? Nah, he's not really a whore. It's, it's like my longtime best friend. We've been friends for like 20 years since like middle school. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, we just have... Uh, He's an antagonist. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's toxic. He, okay. Nah, he, you don't have like him too certain, much, do Yeah, we have a certain way of talking. <laughs> and, you know, like when you when you with your boys or whatever, you know, you're going to say certain things. Like what? Anything. We talk about any and everything. You know what I'm saying? But I I think That would be inappropriate for someone to overhear, but you think you're talking amongst friends. Right. But, uh, yeah. Right. Like, like, what, like what's inappropriate? Like what do y'all talk about that, that, that bothers her? Well, there Nothing. was a... Yeah, really. They, talk, they have they have inappropriate conversations in front of me all the time, and I'm cool with it. And I think the thing that the show doesn't, you know, like what, let like what's see, inappropate? Like look at her ass, or no, like none uh, of that stuff bothers me. He made a comment about my child. And he referenced her to be ugly. He says it wasn't in that he, context, but yes, the hell it was. That's he, how I took it. He didn't it. say ugly or what he said. He didn't context. use those words. He didn't use those words. Basically, he was. We were talking about. He had just came to the youngest one's birthday party the day okay. before, and so he was like, "Hey, man, I was at the birthday party, and I noticed the youngest one. You know, she's a little bit more stocky. The the older one is tall, lanky, <laughs> and and you know, you know he, she's he gonna was be, she's gonna grow up to be the pretty one, and the younger one, she has a great that's, personality. That's not what he said. So how would you interpret that? <laughs> so wait a minute. So, so that's what not he what said. he said. Let me, let me hear what, what, he what he said from him. So because so if, if, go ahead. Yeah. So we're talking, <laughs> and me growing up, I was a stocky kid, and you know, he was like, you know, well, stocky meaning. What? When he say fat, stock, is he I, saying I, fat? I was kind of, I was, kinda, I was, was, was okay. okay. He say fat? Yeah. He didn't say fat, though. Could you look he, down and see your dick? 
when I was a kid, I'm sure, yeah, yeah. All right, sure. so you wasn't fat. Okay, so Stocky, so Stocky, so he said, go ahead. So, you know, he was like, you know, how are you going to deal with that? You know, the, the girls, you know, how are you going to deal with that if she comes to you and, and is concerned about those things? And when she overheard it, she took it as, oh, he's calling my child ugly. And me. Did, see, I wouldn't take it like that. If he's my friend right. and my brother, and I know how people tease people that are overweight all the time. I mean, he's saying, hey, bro, you know, she's a little stocky. Because he didn't say mm -hmm. overweight. He said yeah. stocky because he was mm -hmm. trying to be respectful and said, look, she's a little overweight. You know, how are you going to deal with it? Well, why, don't we get her, why don't we get her in the gym now right. and start losing some weight? And what's so crazy about it? Ain't nothing wrong with that. What's so crazy, he say she he ugly. What's so, what's so crazy what about saying. it? No, what's so crazy about it is the, the week after, she did come up to me like, hey, I want to lose weight. I want to get That's in shape. True. Like, I, I really want to do something about it. So, you know. But now, how did she say it? How did he say it? And even on the show, Brandon admits what he said. He talked about the pretty features of my older daughter. And this is the thing. They look just alike. But since my youngest one has gained weight, they look more different. Mm -hmm. First off, he tried to insinuate, what's up with that? She got two baby daddies. He admitted that on the show. And the thing that pissed me off about that is we had already handled it at home. Right. And when I had the conversation with him at home, he put it like, oh, I wasn't trying to insinuate you had two baby daddies. I wasn't trying to insinuate that she's ugly. And when we get to California, you admit you wasn't trying to insinuate I had two baby daddies. Because with my oldest child, he talked about her pretty characteristics and features and ended it with, and the younger one has a good personality. Then he went to the, how are you going to handle You see what I'm saying? So it's like, mm. you had to call her ugly to get to what you're really He didn't say ugly. He didn't say ugly. He didn't say ugly. And that's the, you know, <laughs> clearly she's overprotective of, over her daughters as anybody would not right. want somebody saying that you, that you could interpret as negative about your child. Right. Period. So, yeah. all right. So do you think that being on this show and being in the house, do you think it helped you guys in any way? Or do you think that it was more harmful? Mm. In the beginning, it was more harmful. Yeah. Because that's not how we communicate. That's not how, on a day-to-day -day basis, how we really act. Like, mm -hmm. I've never done reality TV. And we went in there with, you know, trained <laughs> professionals. They knew how to poke at bears. You got this producer pulling this one over here, this producer pulling this one over there. And when we got home and we got to talking about stuff, I was like, I didn't say that and I didn't do this and this and this. And this. It was just different. Yeah. Right. But it did teach us how to handle hard moments. We've never been through anything that difficult. Right. And to be honest, I never thought that we would have ever faced anything like that. So we came out stronger on the other side. But initially, that shit was tough. Because it could have uh, broke you up. It was rough at first. It when almost we, when did. When we first got back. Because there was a lot of he say, she say, especially yeah. being in the house. And, you know, you in a house with me, her, my mom, my sister, my best friend, her dad, and her two sisters. No phones, no internet, no outside, no music, no nothing, and just Hennessy in the house. So <laughs> it's like, hey, okay. And then my dad was there. <laughs> my dad is an older version of Brandon mm -hmm. to the 10th power, though. So that was another issue we dealt with in the house, and that just kind of amplified everything. And I think still to this day, like, I do feel like me and Brandon will get back to where we were. Mm -hmm. I think the show has made it harder for us to fight it a little bit because it's a constant reminder. I'm constantly being tagged in something. I'm constantly having right, to Right, because people about are it. coming at you like... People not letting it go. And mm -hmm. it's like, as soon as I feel like I get a little bit of healing out of it, I got somebody else making a comment. So I'm kind of dealing with it in my own way. I'm not as upset about it as I was. But then I got a dad who I still go through certain issues with because he's old and stuck in his ways. Right. And it's just kind of like a trigger for me when it comes to his best friend. Mm. So... So were you guys, when you did the show, right, and when you left, how long after did you get married? After Three weeks. It was three weeks. Okay, good. Yeah. So there was yeah. never any talks about calling it off? Nah. Nah. All right, good. Just long, making sure. How long did y'all know each other before y'all got married? Uh, what, two years? Two, two years. Oh, yeah, so two years. Yeah. So it was some mm -hmm. time. Okay. They have, yeah, and they they have some discrepancies on how they met. <laughs> oh God, it ain't no she, she slid in my DMs. That's what happened. She slid in my <laughs> DMs. Lying. That's what happened. She's, we it's met. okay to slide. It's, it's no, cool. No, <laughs> we met through a mutual friend. Because he always told his story wrong. We met through a mutual friend, and at the time I had just got into real estate. I met him and four other people. I copied and pasted the same message and sent it to everybody. Hey, it was nice meeting you tonight. Hopefully I'll see you more around town and we can network together. That was it. A platonic message. No Dang, flirting, King. no nothing. See, see. So she, six weeks later. <laughs> he took that as she wants me. Uh, no, <laughs> no, she, he, had, he had a girlfriend. He had a and girlfriend. And she was dating my cousin. That is not your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and quit telling people that. You was dating your cousin? No, no. She was dating my no, cousin. Well, see, that wasn't, that, that wasn't messy stuff. It was my, my cousin <laughs> through marriage. Like I only oh, you met... was dating your cousin? No. No. She oh, you... was dating my cousin before we met. He was not dating no, no, no. his own cousin. I was no, confused. No, I'm, no, like, I'm like, this no. is crazy. Well, technically, since y'all married now, or y'all almost married, right? No, they're married. You're married, so yeah. you did date your ex-cousin, technically. They so were not cousins cousin. at the time. His uncle 
used to be married to his mom. Yeah, okay. they got and they're divorced. They've been divorced since he was 17, so that's oh, not his cousin. Oh, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. They don't. We, we they have the same But he did pop back up yeah. and claim that cousinship again. Yeah. <laughs> he tried to. Like, so you dated my cousin? But didn't nobody know that was your cousin? He didn't even know. But y'all cousins. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not his cousin. It was like, I felt like she was mad. Like, you know, I'm going to fuck his cousin. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird now. This is, you know, this is a little awkward now. That is not the case. Does Owen know about yeah. this? <laughs> nah, nah. So what happened nah. to your girlfriend at, at the time? Um, we were already on the outs. I was really just really just done with that relationship and it was like, you know what? Here we go with her. <laughs> Here we go with her. Here we go with was her. there an overlap? No. Well, you know, I'm not going to lie. There, there yeah. was there was an overlap. <laughs> there we was were, an overlap. There was an overlap. <laughs> we we started talking and <laughs> we didn't think it was going to be anything serious. I at least I didn't, you know, and um why do you think it was going to be nothing serious? We met casually. Yeah, we met casually mm-hmm. just, you know, on a whim. And, you and know, we started it. talking, and next Definitely. thing you know, shoot. So wait a minute. <laughs> Let me get something right here. Because <laughs> the first time y'all really hung out together together, right? Mm-hmm. You guys ended up sleeping together that night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The first night we okay. hung out together, like, first was that night first night. night? Oh, when you sent the DM. Yeah. Okay. That night that I, I sent okay. the DM the next day to everybody I met that night. I, but, I know, I know. <laughs> but She's that like, night, that was, we didn't just like, hi, how are you? Like, we was, it was a group of us. We was all right. having shots and okay. stuff. He was DJing that So night. he had a girlfriend at that time. But then when y'all hung out one-on-one more, like after y'all uh-huh. left the club the next time, you were out of your relationship. I was still getting out of my relationship at so that that time. So that's the overlap. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah that's that was the overlap, the overlap yeah. And he, was he honest about that? Yeah, he was. Once I found out, he it's not. It's, it wasn't something that he brought to me. Mm-hmm. But after like a week or two, I was like, yo, brother, you got a girlfriend? He was like, <laughs> yeah. But I think yeah. that the reason I trusted it, he's been transparent about everything. Like, I'm going to just be real. I never see myself dating a DJ. Mm-hmm. Single, divorced mama, too. No offense. DJs Andy. come. Mm-hmm. I'm good, man. DJs come with a reputation. Like, people hey, in the man. industry, Black rappers, DJs athletes. Don't cheat. My ex husband <laughs> is a professional basketball Black player. Black DJs don't cheat. There right. you go. Black, Black, Black men Black, don't cheat. Black, Black, Black DJs don't, don't, don't cheat. Right. <laughs> so I judged him very harshly. So I. No, like he was not nothing that I thought was gonna turn into something. He ain't got no kids. He's in the he's in the club, mm-hmm. hoes, all that stuff. So I'm like, this ain't nobody finna be my kid's father figure, and right. it turned out to be yeah. everything opposite now. what I'm I thought. Look at me now, I'm the daddy. Now, now, you said y'all had sex on the first date. <laughs> oh my god, you told him that. <laughs> y'all had sex on the first date. No, we just said it just now when I, I mean, said the first time y'all hung yeah. out one on one. Yeah, the first the, the, well, the I first time so. y'all hung out one on one. Yeah. No, ain't nothing wrong with that. Look where you at now. Exactly. You made it. You know what I'm saying? I was just wondering if he was still in a relationship when that happened. Yes. That's, yeah. Hey. Exactly. He was. So you a homewrecker? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I not know. a homewrecker. I didn't know you had you a can't, you, can't, you can't wreck a, a messed up home as is. So. Oh, that's true. So. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> how was the wedding? Oh, the wedding was Oh, man. Awesome. The wedding was crazy. Mm-hmm. The wedding was crazy. Did we, you cry, Dre? Yeah, I cried. I'm not going to lie. I cried. I tried to. I shed a tear. I should have tell. I try to hold it back, but uh, you know, uh, when it was, it was just, uh, it was, it was a dope day. It was a dope day for me, and uh, our yeah. daughters cried. Like oh. seeing them cry yeah. was crazy. He gave yeah. them rings. Yeah, that's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. That was real sweet. Well, I'm here for it. So, is there gonna be any follow up now after family or fiance? Um, absolutely. We have some other stuff that we're working on. Technically, because we're in contract, we can't do anything until a certain amount of time. But we are working on our own show. We got a podcast that's coming out here in a little bit mm-hmm. that we're going to be putting out. So we got some other stuff All yeah. right, this underway. Is good. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for, for having us. Family us, or fiance. I like the balance of their relationship because she is very fiery, like, go, go, go. Yeah, I'm spicy. But he is laid back. <laughs> so it kind of, I, I think it works. Yeah. He's laid back in certain areas. Like, I think I'm the more calm and serious and constructed person, like, at the house. Like, for me... I just have order. And then him, like, I can be making, like, one morning I'm making breakfast. He goes and he gets Nerf guns, right? So I had threw all his Nerf guns oh, yeah. away. And all of a sudden he comes out with, like, one that's got, like, batteries and shoots 120 in a minute. And I'm like, hey, stop. So he accidentally points it and it hits me in the face. Like, Ooh. we chasing each other. It's been all type of, it was a, it was a like, aiming high energy error. stuff at the house. That's him. Like, when I get angry, so I get So he shot angry. you in the face. And then gonna tell me it didn't hurt, and I had a big red mark. Oh like, bro, that hurt. Yeah, but you did you die? Like, like, she all right? She good? Goodness gracious. <laughs> all right, well, it's Dre LaShonda. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Yes, sir. <laughs>